throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambles. Slides down. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. And he's leveled the 37-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. And he is drilled at the 40. From the 40-yard line, first down. Here's the tight end, drops. Carries the ball for a nice game. Turner gets six yards on the carry. From the 34-yard line, it's third down. And he's immediately tackled. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. Makes it out to about the 13. A monster run there by the fullback. You gotta wrap the big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the two-yard line. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's going to try and scramble. He's knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Georgia State. Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. So those big guys are going to walk away knowing they had a big hand in that score. And he hits the PAT. 
A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Things have been really wild and woolly in this first half. Kirk, what do you think? I, I just hope they have enough oxygen down there for the skill players. I mean, I haven't seen this kind of offensive production by both teams in the first half in a long time. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. We've still got a half of football room. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Yeah, he's looked very comfortable back there, throwing with confidence, strong showing today. Yeah, he has been impressive. And for a young quarterback to perform like this, boy, this is a huge boost to his confidence. We're about set to start things up again. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 34. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle made at about the 13. First and ten. Ball on the Nice run there. Turner gains about four yards on the play. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the nine. Up the middle for a nice game. Walker gets about four yards on the play. Now he's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. down at the 33. The Panthers staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense, and really 
uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Hand off, and he's met in the back. It's second and 13. Ball on the 30.
after a nice run up the middle. At the 47. Got an opening. They'll bring him down right around the 40. away. Well, the great safeties are almost like a center fielder roaming back in the back, just reading the quarterback's eyes. Here he does a really good job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. From the 40-yard line, second down. Quick throw, and he shoved out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Hits him hard at the 16. He's on the run. The 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. He makes the PAT. So an eight-play, 67-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner. Across midfield, and he's finally brought down at the 43-yard line. The Panthers had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. He goes out of bounds at the 23. He's on the run. We're going to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the 26. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going to come up with a sack. Huge play for the defense.
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. Here they come. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 39. And a quick throw. He's at midfield, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Williams picks up about four yards on the play. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. He throws it. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Taken down at the 41 yard line. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's out to the 30, and down he goes. Around the 37-yard line. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And he throws it away. The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Here he goes. Nice run there as they work the outside. over the middle and he is drilled at the 48 drop back four yards on that one well, that's just a sound play by the defense they dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage Haynes is going to try to kick this one deep let's see if he can get it inside the five this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. 
Strike to his receiver, no good. I think the quarterback that time just felt the pressure and just got rid of the football before he took the sack. He scrambles. He's knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. They come out on an empty backfield. made at the 46. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. The Tigers running back left the game earlier with that injury. And now it's unlikely, they tell us, that he's going to be able to return today. After a decent pickup. He gets another carry. Brought down at the 31. From the 31 yard line. First down. Catches it and he's looking for more. Tackle at about the 25 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick strike, and he drops it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. And here's another third down. Nice run up the middle. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. They'll bring him down. It's the 11th play of the drive. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Panther. These blocking packs do a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let them barrel it in for a score once in a while. converts the extra point.
Georgia State. Ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. At about the 21. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Deep pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. McDaniel looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Georgia State's playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster here. He has some room. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. And he 
and he throws it away. Steps out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And now he has the school record for passing yards in a game. Every single pass he has thrown has been spot on today. The guys catching the ball have been pretty sharp, too. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Got an opening. He's at the 40. He makes his way out to about the 35. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Gets it out to him again. He's at the 20. And they push him out at the 14. It's the tailback. They're not done yet. He hits the PAT. A nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he'll return this one from the seven. Down the sideline! And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. Dumps it out left to the running back. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Tackle at the 25. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down around the six yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's on the run. Touchdown, Panther. <laughs> and
and he tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 45-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Around the 32-yard line. A gain of a yard and the quarterback keeper. Laterals back. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. positive yardage we head to the fourth the Panthers in front by 19 into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike, check, 33. 33. Yeah. 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 Quick out to his receiver. Brought down in the open field. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Here he goes. And he dives forward. Knock him down for a loss. What a play, and that is first and goal. the six-yard line. Makes the PAT. A 12-play, 77-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. 
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven, he's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The Panthers are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's scrambling. Aaron and out long. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 33. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Close the fight. Here go. Here go. Here go. Here go. Here go. Brought down at the 33 yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. This young man established a new school record a little bit earlier. Most passing yards in a game. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He sails it long. He caught it. Touchdown, Tigers. And he converts the extra point. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's got the corner. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Franklin, back to return it. Here's the, nope, they snap it to the up back. Tackle at the 37. You talk about a risky play, but hey, it worked, and it worked well. I mean, I don't think anybody on the return team knew where the ball went. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Once and all, going deep. That close to being intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Tight, tight. 
He chucks it downfield. And he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Georgia State for the first and goal, and a golden opportunity to add to their lead. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. Short yardage defense here. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. And off to the fullback. He's not going to make it. Down Georgia State. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's check in on the action in Coral Gable. The Hurricanes hammer that running game and score a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Clemson's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. He makes his way to about the 28. And he tackles him hard at the 27. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Looks like they got a little too anxious trying to jump the snap count.
First and ten. Ball on the 23. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Slings it out there incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. He fights forward to about the 20. The back gets three on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Throws ball him back and got his man. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. Defense stacked in tight here. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. We've got second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Moses takes it up the middle. Touchdown, Clemson! And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. From his own goal line, got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. taken down. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. From midfield. First down. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Yeah. 
Makes it to the 12-yard line. Davenport gets about a yard on the play. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 12. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. And he didn't get enough for the first. Now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's level at the 30. Slings it out and it gets tipped. It's a great series here for the defensive side. They know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game. Haynes is the punter. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Georgia State holds an eight-point advantage. goes at about the 35. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws it out there. Off his hands and incomplete. From the 35-yard line. Second down. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away.
last time they had it. Good outside run there. Georgia State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Moore gets six yards on the carry. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 44. Makes it out to about the 44-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And they push him out around the 10-yard line. Tackle at the 10-yard line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. They hand it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. Less than three minutes in the game. Quickly, touchdown! We've seen a great performance by this quarterback, breaking the school record for most touchdown passes in a game. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They don't get it! Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's head down to Coral Gable. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Stanford, once again, this game just goes to show you, never take anything for granted in college football. These offensive coordinators have done a remarkable job. I think it's going to be who blinks first. Well, I think both of them right now feel pretty good about what they're trying to do. The challenge for them is not to change the mojo and the rhythm that they've both been able to create. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's scrambling. He sails it long. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. Make the stop around the 27-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. an open field tackle. He was covered and still caught the ball. Yeah, this guy has got the balance, control, and just great instincts when it comes to catching the football. Good-looking athlete. Just over two minutes in the game. Throws it to the outside. 
Boy, Brett, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Clemson will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Georgia State. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 86-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. At the 30. Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he converts the extra point. Panthers are going to call their second timeout. The Panthers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. He's tackled at the 41. Brad, I'm kind of sensing that this offense is getting frustrated with their own defense. I mean, they've been flawless. We're putting points up on the board, yet the score is still so close because their own defense is struggling. Hey, just stay composed, go out and execute, and worry about putting more points on the board. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. He makes it to the 28-yard line. the 28-yard line. It's second down. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 20. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He 
gets out to about the eight. Third down has been the charm on this drive. You know, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. It's up, and it sails through the upright. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Second and ten. Ball on the 44. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Georgia State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thank <laughs> you. 